So in this tutorial I'd like to show you some basic uh, dubbing techniques. The first dubbings we started using as a fly tire were natural. Uh, Hezia, Mole, Water Vole, uh, Muskrat, Beaver, all very good materials uh, for, for dubbing, natural materials. And then we started dyeing them of course, which gave us a, a much higher range of, uh, much larger range of, of coloured dubbings. And then synthetics came along. Uh, these could be anything from antron, polyester, polypropylene, nylon. And they, they came in all different grades of coarseness from super fine like this dubbing to very, very coarse uh, stuff. And then came uh, the mixture, which is a blend of synthetic and natural materials. Now this is very interesting. It can uh, you can create all styles of of dubbing with this, and you can use more than one natural material, of course, and more than one uh, synthetic dubbing. You can use Antron um, to give it body. Then you can add hairs ear or hairs mask or squirrel to give it a spikiness and then you can uh, add some flash just to give it that little bit of uh, something extra so and you can add different colors of course so the dubbing world is is so open to your own interpretation uh, and it's a lot of fun making your own dubbing but I'm going to show you some basic dubbing techniques. Okay, we'll just attach our tying thread back here. So, the first technique is just a standard dry fly synthetic body. So, you pull out your fibres from your dry fly box dubbing box <clears throat> and you don't want them you don't want it with a dense area and an open area you want to try and get it as fine and open as possible so we just put this on the thread <clears throat> now <clears throat> we draw off a little bit of thread from your bobbin keep the bobbin a little tension on the thread and take your fingers and we just roll gently the top part. Now you only roll one way, you don't roll back again because that will roll it off. So you just roll your fingers then you can take that and you can just gently push it up to the hook and then you can catch it in a couple of times. This will stop the dubbing from spinning at the top when you start putting it further on. So we just gently roll that. This is your standard dry fly dubbing for a standard dry fly body. So then we can just wrap this. And if you want to taper, you just put, add a little bit more. <clears throat> so that's very simple, easy style. Go a little bit further on there. And then I'll show you another bunch of dubbing. <clears throat> show you how to make a segmented body. So we can put this in. And we do exactly the same. Wrap it, catch it in, a couple of turns. So we want a segmented dry fly body now. So now that's caught in, I can start spinning my dubbing. I want to spin this tight. Now I've loaded the tying thread with dubbing so it's very fine at the top and it gets thicker as it goes along. So I'll get a tapered body. So and just carry on. There we go. Now I take my vise and I rotate, keeping the dubbing tight all the time. And then we can just finish that off. So that's a 
segmented dry fly dubbing technique. And then, the third technique, what we need to do is we need to spin our tying thread anti-clockwise so we get a flat profile and I can split the thread for a dubbing loop. So just flatten that out and I can split it like that. And what we do for this technique, get my hand up while I'm splitting the thread, is trim off the ends. I've just pulled off a bit of dubbing again like that. And what we do is we cut that off and we put that in there and that one after that one I can take that one and put that one in there close our thread up and then I can trim this down on the other side then what you can do once you've got that and of course you have to keep your loop closed so you can make the dubbing denser by pushing this up into each other or you can make it a lighter dubbing by pulling it away from each other. So once we've got that dubbing in, this is a, the scruffy dubbing technique, then we spin our bobbin clockwise to twist it and give it another one. And then we get a scruffy dubbing technique with the synthetic. <clears throat> now you can even, if you wish, make this even more scruffy by brushing it out and you can even brush out the others if you wish to give it a little bit more translucency. I've just moved a little closer in so you can see the three very different techniques or results from the three different techniques. Uh, the smooth dry fly body, the segmented tapered dry fly or nymph, any of these can be used on nymphs and, as well, and the buggy scruffy body. And those are three basic techniques. I'll do another video uh, shortly on natural materials and dubbing techniques. Thanks for watching.